Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Someone's got a tunnel vent in their garden. beautiful lot and welcome to today's episode of Purple Vision. Now I'm here in Northampton at Northampton Castle Station and of course the strikes are on because these guys deserve decent pay, they deserve what they need and I'm in full support of them. So um, yeah whilst the station is closed there's no passengers today I don't know if you know but I walked over to uh, the Wimmington Tunnel the other day so there's an even there's another tunnel here on the London and Northwestern. So I'm going to follow the railway line south, and we'll find the Hunsbury Hill Tunnel portal. And then there's an ancient hill fort on top of the tunnel. And then you carry on going. And then there's like a little bit of a picnic area where we can see the um, the other portal. And we'll watch some trains from there. So, yeah, big love. As left strikes. So there are no passenger trains today whatsoever. It is purely freight. So what I'll do is I'll make my way down here and we'll see what we can do for the day. Epic. Yeah, I forgot to mention it is the 5th of January. It's a Thursday, uh, probably about half past eight in the morning. And there's no passengers whatsoever. So yeah, I'm gonna go down here. So it's, um, <laughs> sorry, bit of breakfast. Um, it's now probably about quarter to nine and <laughs> the first freight train to come through uh, was actually about seven o'clock this morning, but the next one is about quarter past 10. So I've got between now and then to get my butt to Hunsbury Hill. At least the um, Northern portal at least. Right, so this, this is an interesting one. I have done a video all on this bit. Uh, I'll have to show you little clips, but um, this one here is the London Northwestern that would actually reach round to go to Blissworth or to Wellingborough and Peterborough, that way. And of course, this is your main line that will go uh, um, to uh, Wolverton. That's it. And so, uh, Ed's up at the road cutting. Cool. Just so you know. Oh, like I said, I have done a massive railway explorer of Northampton and I'm hoping to get Stephen Cook from Down the Line Rail out here to show him and I mean I won't be filming but I definitely want to show him what I know round here because it's pretty amazing. Uh, this is disused by the way, oh, I think Network Rail have got it but they don't ever run anything on it. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, right, now it's pretty boring all the way round here so this disused railway line i can meet up with by toys r us so i'll meet you there uh sorry guys um not toys r us uh, smiths and you go around the back of there and the railway's there so but whilst i'm walking there i mean i need to give a big thought for these rail strikes right now all across uk people are had enough let's put it that way and the, the rail drivers, they've got Mick Lynch, who's kind of the main leader for them all. And he's, look, he's making sure that everyone actually is trying to get what they, they can. I mean, this bit, bit of a one world order, isn't it? Where they want everyone on the same basic wage. But of course, we can't live on that. And the rail drivers deserve a little bit more than that. So, OK, yeah, I'm missing filming trains, but it's not about me. So give a thought to these guys on strike here. Absolute diamonds. And I love them. <laughs> so, yeah. Strikes ain't bothering me. I can still walk, I can still go about, do my business. And if you can't and you're getting angry because of these strikes and you need to start looking at the government. Anyway, politics, that's enough. Get out. I'm gonna walk around the back of Smith's. And you've got the river and then down there and then the Northampton um, over that side over the air so you've got the river and the navigation hmm. but yeah that fence just there 
Ah, there we are. You may have remembered this from our big dismantled railway walk. Me and Jamie done it, and then I did another video where I put it all together. It's pretty cool. But this is the disused, not dismantled, because it's still there. This is the disused Peterborough branch. Um, yeah, there was another one just a little bit up and it would branch off that way and go to Blissworth But this one here as you can see the viaduct is still there And I love this I remember When I first found this I fell in love I think Jamie was quite amazed at it as well Yeah And this big old curve look It goes that way and that will be the Peterborough branch line But of course that will go round to Bridge Street Station as well so but what we want to do is if we keep walking this way you get the uh, the main line going over another viaduct at the top now I need to be on the other side of it and then go that way and see if we can get to this tunnel entrance hmm what a beautiful day to be alive oh look you see there's the other parapet just in there look and that would have been another arched viaduct that went off here and went up there so. and of course i think they built the uh, the main bit and all this got made redundant and they made northampton castle station the main station for northampton because there was also st john's as well so where morrison's is and there's the car park up near the dern gate um, but that was St John's Station, and you'd be able to go straight to Bedford from that, if you've ever known. Yeah, there's the viaduct. I have got an old clip of a 47 going over this. <laughs> oh, and I've also got quite a bit of drone footage. Um, I'm not too sure when it was, but if I show you, you can actually see where the railways were, and how they both kind of kinked in here. Um, and of course the viaduct is absolutely spectacular it's definitely one of a kind and took me breath away definitely a fire i want to be keeping there isn't it but yeah there's a viaduct Ooh. i've got a thing about viaducts at the minute any of this shropshire blue brick stuff i've really got a I love for it. Viaducts, aqueducts, bridges, tunnels. I love it. Oh, and that side. I've never actually been on this island yet. Hmm. Right, but what we want to do, cross the river here and then cross the navigation up there and then go into the housing estate and then there should be a footpath that walks along the line here and then you should be able to see the tunnel entrance uh, I don't know if you can actually see the tunnel entrance I might have to uh, send her up just so we can see and then way, Briar Hill, Far Cotton that way Northampton Phallus. <laughs> and of course the navigation. Um, just up the top there is the Rutherford flight. And uh, me and Jamie Brady did a video of that one. It's quite a while ago to be fair. Um, but it's pretty interesting. There's, a, there's even a, a drawbridge that me and Jamie Brady kind of had a bit of fun with. Excuse me, sir, please. Please, I have no money. I only have shirt buttons. I wish to cross. You can stay there. No, sir, please. Please, sir. Oh. The thing is... No place for peasants. Or should you actually need any information on any of the videos that I've done, I can send you over a link. Just message me on Facebook or leave down in the comments below and I'll tap the link over in a comment. So if there's anything that you want to rewatch, just let me know. Now, apparently I have to move away from the river because the river goes down. I need to be on here. 
Oh, civilization. No. But if I walk to where that bus is, we should meet back up with the railway line. Hmm. Right, Hunsbury Hill in the tunnel is up that way. Yeah. Look, there's the railway line. You can see the overheads and the uh, fencing is just in these trees. But this road's going to kink out that way, and I want to go that way, and I don't know if I can. <laughs> That's a bit bright. I like it though. Beautiful. So, this roundabout, I'm sure I want to be going down that one to Hunsbury Hill. But uh, we've got the railway bridge, so I just want to have a quick peek over and see what we can see up the line. Oh look, there you go. Oh wow. Oh wow. But I have to say, I'm pretty built up here. I don't think be able to do the drone I'm not sure right okay well since we've actually got an hour I'm not going to stand here for a blooming hour waiting for a train to come out that tunnel so uh, what we'll do is we'll go into Hunsbury Hill Park um, I think the, the tunnel vent is on the top of that one and then we'll make our way through to the other side where you've got the uh, the other portal of it and from there I know it is a big open space that I will be able to get my drone up so, yeah I'm using a DJI Mini 2 on loan by the uh, Thomas family of uh, Milton Keynes. So thank you very much. It's just, uh, all right, it's a lightweight drone. It's still quite built up. Actually, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad here. I mean, this is an allotment, so that's okay. <gasps> ah, right, okay. I'll see if I can get this on the way back when there's actually freight moving. The allotment. Good shout. Oh, now we're coming up to the A45, and I don't know if there's a, a crossing point here or not, or unless it's going to be another one of them deadly footpaths like we saw at Urchester from Urchester House into Urchester Village. And the only way to reach the village that has been named after the place of importance. Um, there's no footbridge, you've got to cross the busy A45. It's quite scary actually. I hope that ain't the case for this. It's just on the other side, is actually Hunsbury Hill. Um, and it is an ancient hill fort. I don't really know much on the uh, ancient history side, but my mentor does. So hopefully we can drag his ass out here at some point. And get us to give, him, give us a tour, eh? Whew. Yeah, I bet there's nowhere for me to cross, is there? Nope. Nope, end of footpath. Great. Is that an underpass? That's an underpass. That's an underpass. I like that, I like that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Someone's got a tunnel vent in their garden. Oh, no way. No way. Tell you what, I'm going to take a fit picture of that. That's pretty awesome. I didn't even know that was there. Yeah, that's pretty epic, isn't it? Never knew that was there either. <laughs> Is it actually in the, I don't think it's in their garden. I think it's a little bit of wasteland and they've built these new houses around it. Can we get in? Can we get in? Uh, if I was going to get in, it would be in here, wouldn't it? Should we have a look? Should we have a look? Yeah, look. Oh, awesome. So probably now I'm standing on, on top of the tunnel. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and that epic. Ain't that awesome? Bit of fungus. That's mega. 
<laughs> it's got some bracket on it there, look. I wonder what that was for. Well, there you go. <laughs> Up close as well, love it. Right, make my way back out to that underpass and uh, we'll crack on. Hunsbury Hill Country Park. Let's go for it. Hello. Uh, not worthy of a yak. Right, and here we are. Hunsbury Hill. Squirrel, tree rat. Mm, you see the slope there? I don't know if you managed to see our Daventry video where me and Jamie Brady went over to Daventry Borough Hill and discovered the uh, hill forts that were there. So, ah, the same thing was on here. Right, so if that tunnel vent was over there, it still come through here and there should be another tunnel vent somewhere. So I'm going to hunt for that. Hmm. Um, let's go this way. Oh, what's this? This park contains valuable na nature and archaeological features. Please treat them with care and consideration. Motorcycles, firearms, metal detectors, prohibited. Yeah, fair enough. All right, then. Definitely looks like a quarry though, doesn't it? I think with the Industrial Revolution as well, they were dragging a lot of ironstone out the land on this one. So it just goes to show that they really didn't care about the ancient history hill fort that is here. Which is it's quite a shame, but you know, it was to show the people we were dealing with at that time. Eh? Where's this tunnel then? I keep trying to look through the trees for linear lines. <laughs> like that. <laughs> there it is. Oh, brilliant. Oh, awesome. Yeah, like that. Our second tunnel vent. I wonder what that sounds like here when a train goes underneath. Might have to check that out a bit later on the way back. Right, I'm going to have to... Uh, Check me maps a moment, bear with me, bear with me. Hmm. It says we want to go down this way. And me and Jamie have been here before where we did come to the um, Hunsbury Hill Railway. Uh, the only problem was, it was during that time where everybody had to stay at home. So me and Jamie being the rebels that we were, we actually came out. And because the whole place was, was shut, we were able to walk most of the line, which you're not normally allowed to do. So, um, yeah, I'd like to leave that link somewhere. If I can find the thumbnail for the video, I'll leave it there. But it is uh, a walk in the line at Hunsbury Hill. So if you type that in the search bar with purple vision after it, it should bring up the video. Yeah. Right. Open pastures. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Well, surely there should be another tunnel vent somewhere. I mean, we've carried on walking some distance. There must be another tunnel vent somewhere. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow, look at all them fungi. Look at that. Pretty cool. Leaving uh, the country park now and under some road. <laughs> Not too sure which one. Hey, road. Oh, that was not nice. Ugh, I put my foot in that. Thanks, bud. 
have. So we go under here. Follow the green way. Then you just love Google Maps. God, what a what a time to be doing YouTubing when you've got access to all of this just at your fingertips. Right, we're going to get a little bit skew with here. So our tunnel entrance is down there, the dirt. And we're going to have to go through the housing estate by the look of it. So, cool. Oh, Debbie Tanner. Lovely. How you doing, Levy? Big shout out. Right, let's crack on. Right, I've been here once before with Jamie. Yeoman Meadow. So I think I can remember how to get down to the tunnel. I have to use a little bit of uh, photographic imagery on the memory banks. I'm pretty sure. Was it here? I'm not sure if it was here. Me and Jamie parked up. Was it? Was it here? I don't know. Can you remember Jamie? <laughs> was it here or was it a little bit further around? I can't remember. I'm going in. I'm going in. Screw it. Don't know unless you find out. See what we can see. Remember, there was a load of wild strawberries on this hill as well. So, ah, there's the foot. there's the path. Right. Well, bear with me whilst I get me bearings and try and make my way out this wood and down into there. Bear with me. I'm still not really getting anywhere. I'm just going to walk round, but I have just seen this. Look, see brickwork. I see some kind of tunnel. Oh, what we got? Oh, awesome. Uh, oh, it's all flooded. Oh, but wow, look at that. Oh, wow, that's so wet under my foot. Look at that. That's the old railway, uh, the industrial railway. So for the ironstone of Hunsbury Hill. Wow, we got one. Mega. As if. Beautiful. They've still got the parapet on there as well. I mean, how many people didn't actually know this was here? That's what it's all about. That's why I've had to come this way, obviously, to find that. Beautiful. I'm gonna have to take a photo of that, definitely. All right then, let's uh, continue on. God, yeah, look at the ironstone in the wall there, look. Oh, mega, mega. Right, now how the blooming hell to get into that tunnel? I'll find a way. Actually, I remember this bit now. I do remember this bit. That's all right. Oh, I think I found a bit of a way through. Oh, it's going to drag me back. Nope, not today. I'm going through it. Oh, ouch. And the ladies at the museum wonder why I've always got holes in my trousers. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the fact I go through brambles all the bloody time. Oh, right. Have I come in too high? I think I have. Oh. Wow, look at that view. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Screw it. Oh. There's a wheelbarrow. 
Huh? Yeah, there's all that. Is that electric? Is that electric? No. Don't mind me. Oh, yes. Here we are. <laughs> Jamie, I made it. There we go. There's the tunnel. Oh, brilliant. At least we're here. Uh, I suppose I better check when this next train is coming, isn't it? Way up. That's a bit slippery. Yeah, and there was loads of wild strawberries all over this bit. And Jamie went back with a massive bag full for Donna, bless him. Huh. There we go. It's a shame we can't really see into the tunnel anywhere. And that track's blocked. So he's got a stop sign there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's, um, it's half past ten now, and I'm looking at open train times, and everything is being diverted up onto the fast. So nothing's coming through blooming Northampton. Um, when I looked at the tunnel, just down there, it did look like workmen were down there. So um, if you have a look here, I uh, see it's got a green light there, but only on there. So... I don't know. What I might do is I might just send up the drone so we can see the uh, the portal here. Then I'll start walking back. I'll film the other portal, put them together, and we'll get on the bus and we'll go Wolverton. I've got a ten pound gold um, uh, gold bus rider with stagecoach. So thanks to our patrons, I've basically got a bus pass anywhere in the Midlands. So. Yeah, all right, I'll send the drone up. We'll have a look at this portal. Then I'll show you the drone footage of the other one because I'll, I'll walk back. You don't need to see that. We've walked here, haven't we? Um, and then uh, I suppose um, we'll get on that bus and we'll head over to Wolverton. Last minute decision, but hey, that's why I'm filming what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's go for it. Right, should we have a look then? So just under these uh, silver birches should be our portal. It most certainly is, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I do like that. <laughs> Mega. I wonder what it's like further down the line. looking down towards the M1 I do believe yeah there's the M1 in the back there oh, wow beautiful all right let's uh, have a little pan around I'll just put it in tripod mode Wow, there's the uh, new rail freight depot right up there in the back. I suppose they're going to be building on those brown fields there. Crazy. I suppose if I keep going round, we'll see uh, Hunsbury Hill, the uh, country park. It's 
still got eyes on my drone up there, beautiful. Good little spot this. There's Tesco's, and then Hunsbury Hill, it's lovely. Oh, and the t oh the test lift, look at that. I like that. And of course, if I uh, start bringing this down, we should see our tunnel entrance. Like that. Ain't that magic? Yeah, I do like that. Stunning. Right, I'm gonna take a couple of pictures and then uh, I'll bring this down and then uh, I'll show you the other the other portal as well. So, yeah, off to Wolverton then. I can deal with that. I was going to go down to Wolverton, but it seems I have to plan it a little bit better because stagecoach don't actually stop at Wolverton. Unless I actually get into Milton Keynes and then I can get a bus that way around. So, bad planning. I'll do it next time. See how difficult it is when you haven't got your dra uh, rail drivers. I appreciate them. Um, we, uh, I, I need you back. So government, pull your fingers out, come to some negotiation, give these guys what they deserve, for Pete's sake. And uh, I suppose I'm going to go find at Northampton Museum. So if you like that video, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll bring you some more entertainment very soon, I suppose. Lovely. Love and light. The whole heap of Northampton Unity.